Hi and welcome back to Coedix TV. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Today we have a very special event. We are at Lothringer 13 at an exhibition hall and the city of Munich is organizing this exhibition. Every two years they are awarding the fine artists of the city and my brother Sebastian Thies, he won the design award. So he will be here and he will be telling you everything about the exhibition right after the intro. Coedix where 150 years of family tradition meets innovation, timeless design, and sustainable thinking. Hello everyone, thank you for watching. We are here at the Design Prize of the City of Munich. This award is given every two years only, so it's a great honor for us because we won after we were nominated for two times. So uh, I can show you around the exhibition and show you some of our works and maybe then you know why we get the award not only for our shoe designs but also for our vision and sustainable innovation research and what we did in our lab for the past few years. Here you can see a throwback into our past. This was our very first product under NAT2 and the reason why we founded the brand and why we had the idea to create a new brand. This was the world's first two-in-one shoe. Take a look. Here we have our woven aluminum sneaker, which is a great example of how we use unexpected and very uncommon materials for our footwear. So in this case, this woven aluminum normally is used for sanitary roofs. Here we have our Algar sneaker, which we created with designer Daniel El Kayam from Israel, because also the Algar and the material is coming from Israel and the beaches where we found the material because of the global warming, there's too much in the water. So we are taking this natural resource and create a new material, a new footwear. So it's kind of a solution for new um, facts occurring due to climate change. And the whole shoe concept is the same way. So circular, we have recycled pet bottles, glass, everything is vegan. So it's just a new technology which can be used for footwear. Then here we have our wolf fish sneakers. We can do sneakers made from salmon or wolf fish, which is fished in Iceland. So we can not only tan this leather with vegetables, but also we use the energy of the geysers, so you don't need any ele normal electricity. And it's CO2 emission free, and also normally the fish skins would be uh, thrown back into the sea or would be burned, which is not very ecological. And this is the strongest leather in the world. So from the Icelandic sea, we are going straight to the Bavarian woods where we are coming from. So this is from the forest, real moss from the Tyrolean Alps, combined with our pet bottles and glass. The whole shoe is vegan and you can see that even moss can be an alternative to leather. And also it's a completely new look, aesthetic, haptics, it feels natural, it smells natural. So also something very new which has not been used for footwear before. Well, what do we have here? This is our ox blood sneaker. So the name ox blood is not only coming from the color, but this is actually really ox blood, which we created together with Shahar Livne, an Israeli designer, which is living in Eindhoven. And the purpose was to show that this was a very common industrial material before, you know it from the farmhouses or wooden floors. And nowadays, more oxes and cows are slaughtered than ever before. But the question is, can we afford to waste something? So why nowadays we are throwing away, for example, blood instead of using it when the animal is slaughtered anyways? So we wanted to show that also there is no difference between wearing another being skin, like leather, or using the milk, which normally is maybe for the baby cow and not for the baby human. So this is something where we wanted to make people start thinking about how they consume and also technical possibilities. and. Again, the question, can we afford to waste anything? Now we're coming to our botanical garden. What you see here is a recycled material made from flower waste. So those were petals from the Bangkok flower market. And the idea came from our partner Irene. She's half Thai, half Finnish, and we tried to find a solution uh, for what we could do with uh, parts of 500 cubic meters of flower waste, which occur every day 365 days a year in 24 hours, which is the opening time of the Bangkok flower market. So here we also took the colors from the flower market, so we have a whole concept for a new shoe and a new material. What we see here 
is also coming from nature, but it's tinder sponge. So tinder sponge is a mushroom, in Latin it's called Fomus fomentarius, and this sponge cannot be cultivated. So you cannot let it grow in some factory or something. This is growing only in nature on trees, which will soon fall down because they have um, some kind of sickness. So beware when you see these kind of mushrooms, the tree is soon gonna fall. And yeah, you can cut these mushrooms and get this fantastic material out of it, which is very soft, very smooth suede. It's very beautiful. If you turn it inside out, it looks like this. And yeah, it's an alternative to leather, which has been used, in fact, for more than 500 years by our ancestors, and it was a little bit forgotten. So now here you can see it's a natural material and something we should really use and think about how to, we can use it in the future too. Here we have our mover sneaker. Whoever moved in his life knows this material. It's often used by painters. So what we did is we recycled uh, garments and textiles and created a new material, and then we combined it together with an insole made from cork, but also made from real sugar cane. And we also recycled these garments into the outsoles. So combined with real uh, natural recycled rubber, the whole shoe is natural and recycled at the same time. Of course, Peter approved vegan. Here we have our non-food milk sneakers made from real milk. In Germany, more than 2 million tons of milk are thrown away every year, which cannot go into retail or are not used. So, you can use this milk, take the casein fibers inside, take out all the liquids, and then you have a fiber, which you can combine with wool. So, this is a milk felt, 30% milk and 70% wool. And not only that you use and recycle the milk, but also the features of the material are much better than real felt. So it's more smooth, more silky, and it's very long lasting. So it's also a very nice solution and looks great, of course. This is one of our most iconic designs and classics from our Banish line. So this material is an ultra iridescent TPU. Uh, which is patented also by the creators and it was originally created for the electronic industry. So if you remember, for example, TVs, uh, mobile phones, this was used for the brandings, but nobody had the idea to use the complete material for a shoe upper because it's quite difficult to sew, but at the end, it's a very, very long lasting material. You can easily recycle it and you can never know if it's blue, silver, pink because it's changing the color all the time and it's very long lasting waterproofed and so you got great features combined with our bio ceramic it's also very breathable believe it or not here we have another solution the tempting bubble wrap sneaker made from recycled bubble wrap together with our friends from Rement who are looking for solutions how to recycle things like aluminum foil or bubble wrap and packaging materials so every material can be used twice and of course here it's much more long lasting than here and even waterproof. So it's a very great material and every shoe is unique because of the different structures. You like to eat popcorn or drink a bottle of wine or non-alcoholic wine? Then we have a solution for your garbage afterwards. This rain boot is made from non-food corn which is from leftovers from farming for whatever reasons can go into retail and here wine corks we have another solution for rain boots we mix rubber with wine corks so we can save up to 30 percent of uh, non-renewable resources which we normally would need to make a real waterproof rain boot it's really cool to recycle these products give it a new meaning and also the function is the same like a normal rain boot but the look is even more great so what we have here in Bavaria, we call it Libaki semi Verpackung. Normal people would just call it aluminum foil, which you know maybe in your kitchen. So this is pre-used aluminum foil, which was used for packaging and food wrapping and snacks. And now we pressed it onto this textile material, and it's a really cool material, recycled. You can re-recycle it, and so it's something really new. And also the look and the feel is something very fresh, very futuristic and sustainable at the same time. So, to our minds, truly innovative.
The final station of our exhibition is the crypta. And what you see here is the holy grail of sneakers made from real flowers, better said, recycled rose petals. So this romantic sneaker was also handmade in Italy and is truly unique. And if you liked what you saw today, thank you for joining us by the way, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the newest sneaker innovations.